Last year there was glimpses of a great player. This year, um, I think every down you need to be prepared for him to be in your backfield. I know that our D-line as a whole has really stepped up the intensity the past half of the season, and, and that's, uh, um, that's Malik, that's Shalik, that's LT, that's the whole crew. But certainly Malik McDowell is a guy you need to keep out of your backfield. The, the uh, first thing that's obvious is his length. Okay, there's huge advantages with having that wingspan in terms of separation and disengaging from blocks. But what makes him special is a lot of times that length can be a detriment at times when you're playing inside. And he has the ability to get low when needed. He has the ability to turn and torque his body to uh, play in positions of leverage, which a lot of time long guys don't have the ability to do. And, and uh, Coach Burton's doing a great job working with him. Um, but also, that's, that's a natural feel he has to be able to fight pressure and feel where that pressure is coming from. Big deal. We have lost some guys that we felt like would have been major contributors for us. Uh, for the season and all those type of things. But one thing we never did do was talk about it. We just kept on playing and next man up mentality. And uh, we said back in the summer that a championship team is only as good as his backups. Well, we found that out this year for sure. So um, good for them for coming together at the right time. Uh, November is a, is a month for contenders. We all know that. And as we continue on um, through the playoffs and those type of things, they know that this is our time. This is our time. Let's get it done. Shalik, Shalik, as you know, I heard he was here already holding court. But um, he's naturally a people person. You know what I mean? He's a smart young man. He's always been that way. He's sincere. And um, he's a hard worker. So you love a guy like that. You love a guy like that, man, that, that really cares about his teammates, that's a hard worker, that plays well, and shows up on game day. Um, so. Uh, great to hear him and his parents. You said, what is it about him? Maybe it's his parents. You got to ask them that question. But he's, he's just a, a, a great young man to be around uh, on, a, on a daily basis. And you know what you're going to get. And uh, love having him on our team. Well, you know, you see a different Shalik every game sometimes as far as his per you, you never, and that's not just Shalik, that's all players, man. You just don't know. You're trying to figure, are they ready or not? Sometimes they're joking around. Sometimes they're serious. And you, you just can't judge a guy how they're doing. But as far as saving his best for last, um, I wouldn't say that in particular because he's trying, his mind, mentality is to go out every game and to play his best. But obviously now it's showtime to get it done, you know, with championship game, uh, big time players show up at big time and big time game. So um, we're happy to see that he really turned it on versus Iowa and hopefully he can continue it on uh, versus Alabama.